Hey, hey, friends. This is Martine Williams, and I am obsessed with all things Mompreneur Life and helping you to remix your priorities, your habits, your mindsets, and yes, even your relationships so that you can build a successful business without losing yourself in the process. I'm also obsessed with the killer turquoise and lyrics of the 80s and 90s, but that's beside the point. Girlfriend, you don't have to hustle 24-7, 365, and continue to sacrifice your health, your relationships, and your sanity to be a successful mompreneur. As a small town girl living in a lonely world to a six-figure mompreneur, I am here to teach you how. There is a better way, and this podcast is your one-stop shop for all of the how-tos, the encouragement, the life hacks, the success tips, and of course, a little side of tough love. This is the Mompreneur Life Remixed Podcast, so let's do this. Well, hello, my sweet friends, and welcome back to the Mompreneur Life Remixed Podcast. I'm your host, Martine Williams, your CEO, your Chief Encouragement Officer. And if this is your first time listening to the show, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for um, following the show so that you get automatically downloads these episodes and are ready for you to listen 24-7, 365. And for some of you, you might want to go back and listen to some of them on repeat. Thank you so much also for sharing these episodes and sharing the podcast with your mompreneur besties or anyone that you uh, believe would benefit from listening to um, the solo episodes that I do and also the turquoise talk guest. So have you ever had a moment to where you are on Facebook and the memory pops up of like last year or nine years ago or 10 years ago and for those of us that are moms, it's usually like the photos of our kids and you're just like break down in that moment, like, oh my goodness, time is going by so fast. Well, Instagram stories has uh, kind of the same feature. And um, I was on Instagram the other day and this memory popped up of this story. And so I listened to it and I was like, another one of those moments where I'm like, I'm literally like preaching to myself right now. <laughs> I mean, there is a clear and distinct reason why this memory popped up on this day of in this month of 2023. So I listened to it and I was like, wow, like that was, that was pretty good. So I thought I would share some of the thoughts with you that I shared on Instagram, however many years ago it was, I can't remember what year it was in, but it's it's on this topic of all or nothing mentality, the principle of all or nothing. And I don't know about you if you find yourself in that mindset of all or nothing. I think so many times we have it, whether it be your business, you know, I'm going to go all in on my business or I'm, you know, I'm going to do all the things on my to-do list or I'm not going to do anything at all. Or if I can't go and get this amount of sales in my business that I'm not even going to make two calls. If, you know, you fill in the blank there with your business, your health. If I can't exercise, you know, every day for an hour, then I'm not going to exercise at all. Your marriage. If we can't do date nights every week, then I'm not going to do date nights at all. Like it's just this all or nothing mentality. And the fact is done is better than perfect. And anything or a little bit of something is better than nothing at all. And when I was working in the hospital in cardiac rehab, I was an exercise physiologist in cardiac rehab for seven years. It's actually what I went to college uh, to do. That was always my mantra for my patients as they graduated from the program. Like just do a little bit of something that is better than nothing at all. If that means you walk five minutes, 10 minutes, if you do three 10 minute sessions, if you do three five minute sessions, like anything is going to be better, nothing at all. And I still say that to this day to the women that I coach and when I speak and train at events, we have to stop having this all or nothing mentality. And as I said in the very beginning, like this is very timely for me as well, because it, it can creep back in and it can creep back in, in those moments where you're trying to make a change. So what is your mindset when it comes to that? Are you are you a perfectionist? Um, do you have to make sure everything, like all the T's are crossed, all the I's are dotted, that you know all the details of what's going to happen or how things are going to go, how things are going to work out for you in a situation before you take a step? 
what's your mentality? What's your mindset? Is it just, you're, you're just going to pull the trigger and try it and put yourself out there. Are you not putting yourself out there, not trying something new in your business, not pursuing something because you're still trying to make it perfect. I mean, it just, it, it's just sometimes what we default to. And nine times out of 10, I'll say for me, it's where fear shows up. I I love to have the plan. I love to have the details. I care very much about the value that I put out into the world. And I want to make sure that I'm not wasting anybody's time. And a lot of times those can become reasons for procrastination. Those can become reasons for me not doing it, doing the thing that I know I need to do because I'm afraid that it's not going to come across clear that I didn't write that email the right way. I didn't write that post the way that it, that it needed to be, to be written. But this is the time of year where, you know, we're decluttering and we're trying, trying to make some changes in our life. And we're trying to instill some, some new habits of thought and some new things into our businesses. And are you still just sitting there waiting for the perfect time? Are you waiting for you to be ready? Ready is a lie. Were you ready when you got married? Were you ready to be a wife? Mm, I mean, you didn't know all there was to know about being a wife because you've never been a wife before, right? Were you ready when you had your first baby? You never had a baby before. So think of these changes Maybe the changes that you want to make in your life, whether it's health related, business related, or relationship related, um, this is the time of year where say we say we're going to make some changes, right? But nine times out of ten, we get stuck, or we just wait. We wait because we're afraid of walking into that gym for the first time, because we don't know the people, or we're not sure how we're going to respond to the exercise. We're afraid we're going to be sore. We don't try new in our business, or maybe look at our business from a different perspective, because. We are familiar and comfortable with the way we've been doing business, right? There's no fear. We're comfortable. It feels good. But the fact is, if you want different results in those areas, you have to do things. We have to do things in a different way, right? Old keys don't unlock new doors. So, and that really starts with your mindset and not having the all or nothing mentality, especially when it comes to your relationships. I mean, really all of it. But if you can make one change in your business, One, develop one new habit for your health. Make one change in your routine that's going to help you be more productive. One change, one positive step, one action towards a different mindset or a different way of doing things. It's going to be better than just saying, well, I don't know how to do it all. So I'm just, I'm just going to sit right here and I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait because you're waiting on being ready. You're waiting on having all the details. And again, this is, I'm, I'm, I'm preaching to myself, just like I'm preaching to y'all. But if you don't do anything, you'll be in the same position this time next year. If you have that mentality, I know none of us want, none of us want that. We all want growth. We all want momentum. We all want forward motion. We all want to see, you know, our goals achieved this year. So instead of having that all or nothing mentality, What's the one thing? What's one thing that you can focus on this year? What's the one change you can make? Because remember that done is better than perfect. Done is better than perfect. Done is better than better than perfect. It's a mantra I have to tell myself, especially when I'm doing new things in my business, when I'm doing new things in all those key areas of our life. As many of you know, I launched my first business in direct sales in 2006. My second business, my coaching business in 2019. And I'm currently working on launching my third business. And I was far from perfect. I didn't have all the answers in 2006. I didn't have all the answers in 2019. And I I certainly don't have all the answers right now. I was far from perfect. But I've learned something new each time. I've learned something new about myself. I've learned something new about my community and the people that I am trying to serve. And if I tried to wait, and I did the first time, not really the first time when I launched my direct sales business, but when I launched my coaching business in 2019, I put it off. I put it off because I wanted to make sure that it was right. I wanted to make sure that it was well done. And that's just, I guess, I was trying to be a little bit of perfectionist. 
I never really considered myself a, perfe- a perfectionist, but it wasn't until a friend that I was talking to on the phone and she said, and y'all may have heard this me talk about this story before, but she said, you're selfish. Let me tell you, that was a smack in the face to stop trying to figure it all out. This was all new for me. I had never created my own courses before. I, I've created lots of content because I have spoken and still speak on stage. I've developed trainings, but to be able to put together something like that, like in a course format in a group coaching program in 2006, I'd never been in sales before I started. Um, It was all new. And she really kind of kicked me in the booty when she said that, just just to put it out there, uh, put it out there messy and just see what happens because I didn't want to come across selfish which is what she called me. And and now I'm rolling into my third business and I've learned a lot and I'm going to continue to learn every time I put myself out there. So take it from me that done is better than perfect. And I could sit here and tweak and tweak and tweak images and posts and emails and all of those things until they're absolutely perfect, which really doesn't exist. But instead you just got to put it out there, see where you're off on your target and then just readjust. You know, when she said, you have something amazing that can help and serve women and you're keeping it to yourself. So you're just being selfish. Maybe that's you today. Maybe you know you have a unique purpose and a unique gift that you're holding on to because you're afraid to start. You're you're afraid to invest in the help that you need. You're afraid to delegate out. You're afraid to go live for the first time. You're afraid to put that first post out there on social media. I don't know what it is that's holding you back, but let me speak to you as directly as my friend spoke to me. You do have a unique gift and unique talents that this world needs. And I'm begging you not to have the all or nothing mentality. I'm begging you not to have the perfectionist mindset because ready is a lie. Perfection is a lie. We desire progress. And when you put yourself out there, when you when you pull the trigger, and you've heard me tell this tell this story before, when you're aiming at a target and you're trying to get everything lined up before you pull the trigger, you're never going to pull the trigger because you're still trying to figure out how to get it lined up perfectly. Instead, you pull the trigger, see where you land on the target, how far off you miss the target, and then you realign, you readjust, right? You rewrite the email, you rewrite the post, you you find the person who who's a little bit further ahead ahead than you in your career in your work that you want to do and you ask them hey how did you do that how did that work for you but don't get analysis paralysis don't listen to 500 different podcasts or follow 5000 different people on social media because you're going to start hearing different messages and you're going to start contradicting one another maybe and you're going to get confused and when you confuse, you lose. When you confuse yourself, you lose. When you confuse your audience, you lose as well. So I hope this was a quick little pep talk with you about all or nothing mentality and that you will take my mistakes and my overprocessing. And again, if you're like me and I, I feel like you all are, it comes from a place of love, right? It comes from a place of caring so much about the work that you do. You want to make sure that everything, you know, rolls out perfectly. Um, But don't let that keep you from having your unique impact on the world that God has called you to. So be encouraged, be inspired, be motivated just to take your next step to just start, put it out there, see where you're off and realign. All right, friends. Well, I'm believing in you always, and I will catch you on the next episode. Well, that's a wrap, friends, for this week's episode of the Mompreneur Life Remixed Podcast. Thank you so much for listening and for following the show. It means so much to me. And listen, friend, sharing is caring. So if you loved this episode and thought of some fellow mompreneurs who could benefit, send them the link share this episode or take a screenshot and head on over to Instagram and share and tag me at martine31williams. We are connected on Instagram, right? It's where you will get all the fun behind the scenes of my life and business as a mompreneur. 
Until next time, know that I am believing in you always.